are you guys doing? I wanted to come on and see exactly that, just how you're doing and how are you coping and how are you getting along with everything in your life? And are you finding it enjoyable, every single part of your life? And how does it make you feel? So I'm, I'm wondering that and I'm wondering if you are handling everything with grit and grace and feeling fantastic. And I'm hoping that's the case. And if not, I'm here for you. And I'm going to give you a tip today on how to cope with amazing grit and grace and get through it all. As you know, I'm Allie B and I am your health and fitness expert and mindset coach. And I help you look good and feel great so that you can create the lives that you want to experience. We're gonna bridge that awareness with our attitude and we're gonna go into B, which I'm going to give you the magic trick of how to handle anything and cope with anything in life is to, I call it, bracing yourself. And you, you've heard of this before. It's not like I'm like, oh, I made up this really cool thing. So, and I wanna teach you to download this tool of bracing yourself for your life, for anything. It's kind of like when I'm coaching athletes, specifically runners, I brace, I teach them to brace themselves for the race. That every single race, the next race, and the next race, and the next race, they brace themselves like it's gonna be the hardest race that they've ever done, okay? In fact, there's a famous runner that some of you may know of your runners named Mo Farah. He's a British runner. And before he did his very first marathon, he said to himself, this is going to be the hardest race of my life. And he wasn't being negative, he was being mature, okay? It's all about the attitude and it's about preparation, okay? When we prepare ourselves for life, we know things are gonna happen in life, right? It's inevitable, we have challenges, we're having a big challenge right now, right? And when we can just prepare ourselves and know and think back to everything that we've ever been through in our life and download that confidence knowing, I got through that, I got through that, I can get through this. When we can expect the challenge, when we can expect the pain, it's inevitable, we can brace ourselves for it. When you have a good attitude about the pain, again, going back to the runners, that's who finishes first, second, third. The difference between first and second is not often talent, it's who can endure more pain, okay? And that's kind of like life too. So it's like here I'm coaching the physical and I want to bring this into our life with all of us. That's why I say we're all athletes. We're all athletes. Life is the biggest endurance sport there is. Because if you can handle, the more pain you can handle and tolerate and have a good attitude about, if you have a good attitude about pain, and I want you guys to try this, have a good attitude about pain, and then you're going to see that there's still pain, but it's less, un it's less unpleasant. And I've got the exercise for you for today because now that you're gonna download bracing yourself, you're gonna brace yourself for some burpees that are actually like, we, we call them bodybuilder booty blasters, okay? It's like the B, okay? Bodybuilder booty blasters. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do these exercises now as you're gonna watch me do in the demonstration, okay? Another body weight exercise. So you don't need any equipment for this. You could do it anytime, anywhere, any place. And I'll tell you how to do it if you're a beginner person versus an advanced. Okay. So you're just gonna start out standing up and you're gonna squat down and put your hands on the ground and go out into a hand plank, okay? So you'll be in the hand plank position and then you're gonna do a jumping jack. And then you're gonna bring your legs back in from the jumping jack and do a push up, okay? Or you can even do those reverse. So you can either do the push up first and then the jumping jack or the jumping jack and then the push up. I like to give you guys choices. Choices are always good, okay? But basically you're gonna go down into a hand plank, you're gonna do a push up and a jumping jack or a jumping jack and a push up, then you're gonna jump your feet back in, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna jump up, okay? Now if you need to do low impact, if, if you need a little more lower impact, you, know, you can eliminate the jump portion, the higher intensity portion and just walk your feet back into those that plank and when you stand up, you can eliminate the jump if necessary too, okay? But this is a total body weight, cardiovascular strength, booty blasting, awesome exercise that you guys can do anywhere, anytime, any place. And depending on who you are, what your fitness level is, if this is brand new, you're just starting to move again, just do this once a day as many as you can. Or say, I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds as many as I can. 
see how many you can do in 30 seconds, and then the next day or the day after that, do one more. Progress is happiness, right? And if you're someone out there that's advanced and is like, okay, Ali, give me, give me a challenge. I've got a challenge for you. I don't know if you guys know what Tabata is. You guys can look this up, T-A-B-A-T-A, -A -A, okay? Tabata exercise, many of you may already know, but it's just an interval training system. And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna do these booty blaster bodybuilder burpees for 20 seconds as fast as you can, okay? Then you're gonna rest for 10 seconds and you're gonna repeat this eight times, okay? Eight sets. That's a true Tabata workout is eight times 20 on, 10 off, working at max intensity. Okay, so thanks for stopping by and we will be continuing our journey. Remember, don't, for, don't forget to subscribe because I'm sure you wanna know what C stands for. We've got some C tools and some C exercises and we, I have the whole alphabet, you guys. That's why I'm ABC, Allie B. Covington. Okay, I was born to do this for you guys. I was put here to do this. I'm happy to serve you. Again, put questions, comments, let me know how I can serve you. How can I help you? Thank you, I love you.